Welcome to step six of the tech integration workshop here at schooltechnology.org. This one is entitled Get Buy-in from Your Administration. Now, we have to face the harsh reality that us as media tech coordinators or specialists or whatever you might be called in your building really do not have enough bite to your bark to change the building. And that is because uh, the teachers, and no fault of their own, but they have so much on their plate in trying to meet state standards and national standards and no child left behind, all these things that are pushing down on them, that if you approach them and say, hey, I want to do some 21st century skills, uh, you're really going to maybe push them too far. I mean, they've got so much that they've got to get done. All right. And without kind of the blessing of administration or the assignment from administration, they just will not make it a priority. Now, if you can't get this step to work, you can still go forward, but it just will be that much harder. So you really need to have the buy-in from administration. So you need to get them on your side. And how I do this is I just ask for three weekly meetings. So just say something like, or send an email saying, hey, could I see you every Tuesday afternoon for the next three weeks? I want to discuss the technology plan for our school and just set it up that way. And let me tell you how these meetings go. You will present to them such a nice little pretty principal package, a little bow on it practically, saying that you are going to take care of all of this for them and for the school and for the teachers, but you really just need uh, the administrator to present it to the teachers and to make that assignment to the teachers, and that's how it's going to work. But you will take care of all the rest. So let's review what happens in each one of these three meetings. So meeting number one, you introduce the idea of 21st century skills and talk about why they're such a priority for your teachers and your students. And you should know this. I mean, you've been reading the books, you've been watching the podcasts and listening and reading wikis, doing all those things that you've got that you should have enough evidence to back up the words that you're saying, that you believe and know that 21st century skills are need to be a priority for your building. All right, and then you volunteer to take care of it. You say, listen, I will handle all the details, all the your legwork, all the, you know, whatever you needs to get done, I will take care of that if I just have the administration giving the um, assignment of it. Uh, that you will put together a list of the grade level artifacts and all the costs that are going to be involved in making this go forward. And that you would like to have the students and teachers to get here within the next, next 18 months. You need to kind of make it a priority. Sometimes I don't put like an expiry date, like 18 months. I just uh, have administrators to say, this is what we're going to work on and we're going to work on it um, until it gets done. And that explains to everybody that gets them all saying, okay, let's, let's get it moving forward. All right, so that's meeting number one. So meeting number two, you come back with a very simple technology plan. And underneath this video, I'll have a link to the basically the template that I use, but it's very simple. It all fits on one page. And you know, I've been consulting on technology plans for schools for years. And I've been guilty of making those huge documents, you know, 50, 60 pages long of the school technology plan for the building. And it doesn't need to be that complicated because that just scares people away. You want a simple, try to get down to one page technology plan with just the basics on there. And then I show the principal what is going to be involved with the hardware, software, and services like subscriptions and those type of things. And I show them also the six question assessment. And I'll have a link below this video for that as well that I need them to do. So when they have their annual reviews or, or every six months, however they review with teachers, that they will sit down and ask them these six questions so that they can get uh, the teachers know, for that teachers know that this is coming, that they will be held accountable for 21st century skills for their um, students. And that's how you get finally some bark to your, or some bite to your bark. And then you ask for a, a school-wide meeting to introduce this technology plan or the school technology plan for the teachers. And then meeting number three is the meeting that you have all the teachers there and that you basically want the administrator to uh, kind of open up the meeting and explain that uh, 21st century skills are a priority for the building and that you've been asked as the media specialist or media tech person to take that on and be responsible for it. Okay, so they might put up on the up on an overhead or something the school technology plan so that everybody can see what that is. And then you take over from the administrator and kind of explain how it's gonna be painless, it's gonna be fun, you're actually going to take work off of their plates. So you will help alleviate some of that heavy workload that they're under. And then you should give a presentation about 21st century skills so that everybody understands what they are. So when you talk about creativity and innovation, they're all like, oh, I get what that is. So that is basically how you get administrator buy-in. So that's the three meetings 
that's how to do it. Remember to put a nice little bow on it all when you meet with the principal. And let's now go to the action guide and get down to the nuts and bolts of how this is going to happen.